Hi, welcome back to the channel. It is the five year anniversary of Jim Newstead. Well, no, not of me, but of the channel, of me making reaction videos. It was the 10th of March 2018 that I first uploaded publicly a reaction video to YouTube. And I thought, what would be fun for you, but deeply uncomfortable and rather embarrassing for me, was to re-watch my very first video. I think this is going to be horrible. Not the music, but just the video itself. Um, this is the very first thing I ever did. As I say, back on the 10th of March 2018, I'm wearing the same blue woody blue jumper. I've got the same headphones. Microphone's different. The camera's different. We have lighting. The room is different. Several, lots of things have moved on, but I thought some things are going to stay the same. These headphones will never change. Right, this is <laughs> the Devon Townsend Project, The Death of Music, live at the Royal Albert Hall. This was what initially drew me into reaction videos and the reason I wanted to make one in the first place. <laughs> Let's see what this is all about, shall we? Hey, hey, how you doing? Jim here. Um, i am uh, been listening to a lot of uh, a guy called Devon Townsend recently. Uh, really, only in the last sort of just Look over at the a camera, week. Jim. Uh, Look at the camera. Since last weekend. Um, and it's just such phenomenal music. I wanted to... Smile. Uh, um, it's actually how I discovered it. It's uh, through a reaction video. Someone oh, was so posted nervous. online on YouTube. Um, they reacted to uh, one of his songs and I was absolutely hooked, immediately mesmerised. And... Uh, I want it's to true, share Carlos. this live video of a song called The Death of Music. Uh, oh, and very earnest and serious, I have I? seen this before, I've listened to it, but it's the first time I've done a reaction video, so cut me some slack, hey? Cut me some slack. Um, it's a really, really good song. Um, it's a fantastic version. In fact, I'd say that this live version is better than the one that's on the album, which I've listened to as well. Um, if you like like it, do check out uh, Devin Townsend's music. He's uh, had several different projects. Uh, he started off as a, a singer. Move it along now, Jim. Move it along. Um, <laughs> uh, he submitted some demos to a record company. Uh, got picked up by one certain Steve Vai. And he was hired to be Steve Vai's singer for a while. And he then was. he set, out, set up the band... Uh, strapping young lads, oh, extreme on, metal, uh, industrial metal, quite aggressive, very very fast, very loud, very very good. Uh, so if that uh, tickles your fancy, go and have a little Tickly. listen to them as well. Um, he's not doing that anymore. Uh, he's now, ha, sadly, uh, Devon Townsend Project. Once as soon as I decided to discover something, it uh, has finished. So he's not that doing is that uh, anymore, one of the things I've discovered. So project. many times on this channel. Anyway, bands I discover. I'm rattling on, get into. talking too much. I think we should they just get no on more. now and listen to this. See what you think. I think this is absolutely blindingly good. Really. Yes, good. you do. So, do. Uh, any further ado? Because you have to say that. <laughs> oh, it's a bit loud. Big crowd. Royal Albert Hall. with a gym. It wasn't the very best video to have started with. It's not exactly snappy and quick and to the point, is it? Amazing music that it is. Oh, 
Oh. I don't do that anymore. Vaping. That into touch. Quite a few years ago. Very, very fortunate to see this sung live actually at the Royal Albert Hall this time last year. Mm, not this time, it was uh, Easter, Easter weekend. a bit of a standout moment. Because the emotion. 
lot to see with me, is there? song wow let's have what he says <laughs> what's he got to say what are you got to say jim not a lot come on you can do it come on. what do you think pretty bloody special eh <laughs> it's absolutely sensational piece of music and this is just one of Dozens and dozens and dozens of uh, well, obviously of tracks is uh, made recorded um, over the last twenty years, I guess. Um, Probably longer than that. This is from a recording that was made uh, in two thousand and fifteen, I think, at the Royal Albert Hall okay. uh, in London. Good um, info. The Devon Townsend Project uh, played through. I think this is the third set. Uh, the, that was the last second from last song on the third set. Still to be able to do that. I'm so after, interesting, aren't I? Oh, why do you? Why well, did anybody just, just come incredible. to the channel? I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you <laughs> hope this has turned you. If you've never heard of him before, it's turned you on to Devon Townsend, Devon Townsend Project. Oh, bless um, you, Jim. Bless you. Check him out. Go and <laughs> seek out his music. Go and listen to it. Find uh, it. It's absolutely just wow. It's amazing. It's like one of those. The first time you hear Pink Floyd. Or Ooh. porcupine tree, Ooh. or in a different genre, sort of massive attack or something. It's just 
just incredible, just sensational music. So thank you for um, thank letting me do this. And I hope you who's letting it. you do this, Jim? Uh, You're letting yourself do you it. Do, uh, leave some comments, um, thumbs ups, all that sort of thing, likes. <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll do another one soon. Okay. Oh, Jimothy, Take Jimothy, care. Jimothy. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah, And stop the video. Stop it. There you go. Oh, oh well. We will have to start somewhere, I guess. Uh, that's funny. That's fu um, cringeworthy, embarrassing, uh, highly uncomfortable, but uh, actually really quite funny as well. Um, it's so interesting to revisit. I mean, there was, I'm sh I don't know how soon it is I got sort of into my stride with it and much, much more comfortable making these videos, but it's... I'd forgotten how. I, th I think at the time I probably thought, oh, yeah, that was pretty slick. <laughs> hey, Jim, hey, you're, you're on this. You're really on this. But uh, I think it's, it takes a little while to be comfortable to sort of let, actually let your, personality, put, bleh, let your personality out and start to talk to the cameras if you're just talking to a friend or, you know, like it is. It's, uh, it's a conversation. And there it was very much not a conversation, not a willingness to talk to other people. This is... I've got some. If you if, if you don't mind, I've got some uh, music I, I I want to share, and I have a little bit of information that. Uh, 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 don't look at me. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, they're very good, and if this has uh, made you excited and interested to find out more, then do that. Oh, come on, Jim. <sighs> I wouldn't have watched it. Yeah, I would have done, but. I don't think I'd have stayed around. So you guys, thank you. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if anybody... Did anybody ever... Did anybody now watching this video, did you ever see this first one when it went up? Please tell me. And that would be amazing. Because I think in that first week or so that it was uploaded, it had something like 100 views, which I thought was absolutely amazing. 100 views in a week. And then like sort of 15 comments or something like that. And it was, oh my God, I've got a YouTube video up and people are commenting and, and stuff and, and people started to follow me and what have you. So it really was the beginning of the journey of this channel. And I know we've not grown to a huge, huge size. So I actually quite like it. So it's a, it's a manageable size. So 20 odd thousand people. It sounds a big number, but you know, in the scheme of things, there's some of these channels out there uh, that are huge, um, many tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, up to sort of a million in some cases. I mean, how, how on earth do you do that? I mean, you've got to be fully uh, dedicated to it. This is your full-time job. You you are earning money with it. You're employing people to, to do it. Well, I don't. It's me. It is literally just me. Everything. One person. I've got a camera. I've got a microphone. I now go and take this and stick it in the computer and edit it for an hour or so, and that's it. Move on, job done. Uh, it's it's doable. It's doable, and it kind of keeps everything under control and in one place. But uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling and, and mumbling and talking nonsense. But uh, there, where it all began. Where it all began. Oh, look at you, Jim. Full of bright-eyed innocence and... <laughs> and and absolute inexperience. Hey, I'll see you guys on the next video, <laughs> whenever and whatever that is, maybe. And until then, this is Jim. Over. <laughs>